Hey there, future Canadians. Have you ever heard of the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program? Today, we will discuss its newest stream, the Rural Renewal Stream. If you are dreaming of a simpler pathway to Canada, this might be your golden ticket. So stick around and let's explore it together. And if you find value in our content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. So let's get started. So what is Alberta Advantage Immigration Program? It is an economic immigration program that nominates foreign nationals for permanent residence in Alberta. The program has different streams for overseas workers and foreign nationals living and working in Alberta, as well as for entrepreneurs who want to establish or purchase a business in Alberta. Now let's discuss the program streams. The AAIP has three worker streams, the Alberta Opportunity Stream, the Alberta Express Entry Stream with the substream Accelerated Tech Pathway and the newest one, the Rural Renewal Stream. Each stream has its own eligibility criteria and application process. In this video, we will focus more on this stream and discuss how this can be your pathway to Canada. So continue watching and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's discuss the Rural Renewal Stream. It is the newest stream under the program and is designed to attract and retain newcomers to the rural Alberta communities. As most of the immigrants moving to Canada tend to live in and around the big cities, in case of Alberta, most people prefer Calgary and Edmonton, the province of Alberta has started this program to encourage people to move to rural communities and help the province develop these communities with smaller populations of less than 100,000 people. So what's the eligibility criteria for this stream? In order to be eligible under this program, you must meet the following requirements. At the time of your application, you will need a valid endorsement of candidate letter issued by the Economic Development Organization of your designated rural community in Alberta. You can find the list of designated communities in the description. Next, you will need a valid job offer from an eligible employer in a rural Alberta community. The job offer must be 12 months or more and it must be for a continuous full-time job with a minimum of 30 hours per week for permanent and non-seasonal position in an eligible occupation in the designated community. You must also have a minimum of 12 months full-time work experience in an eligible occupation within the last 18 months prior to your application. The work experience in the qualifying period must have been paid full-time employment for a minimum of 30 hours a week. Under the language requirements, you must have a minimum language proficiency of Canadian language benchmark or CLB level 4 in English or French for all four language skills of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. If your job offer is for NOC 0, 1, 2, or 3 occupation, then you will need a minimum of CLB level 5. And if it is for NOC 4 or 5 occupation, you will need a minimum of CLB level 4. If you have a job offer, the educational requirements are not that high. You will need a minimum of high school education and your degree or diploma will need to have an educational credential assessment by an organization like VES. Now let's discuss the settlement funds, as you will need to demonstrate your intention and ability to live and work in Alberta permanently you will need to provide a settlement plan that outlines how you will establish yourself and your family in rural Alberta. You will need to provide proof of funds to support your settlement, such as bank statements, pay stubs, or tax returns. The settlement funds vary based on the number of dependents and the size of the designated community you are looking to settle in. Here is a screenshot of table depicting the total amount of funds needed based on your dependents and the community size. Note that the funds must be readily available and real estate property, jewelry, cars and other personal assets are not eligible. You will need to provide official letters from any banks or financial institutions where your funds are kept. So now let's say you have met all the eligibility criteria and you have the necessary work experience, education and the settlement funds required to apply. So how do you actually apply to this stream? So there are three main application steps. The first is to get the job offer and an endorsement letter from the designated community. 
Once you have received the endorsement letter, you can submit an online application through the AAIP portal. You will need to create an alberta.ca account and upload all the required documents as per the document checklist. You will also need to pay a non-refundable application fee of 500 Canadian dollars. The final step is to apply under the express entry. After you have submitted your application online on the AAIP portal, they will assess your application based on the eligibility criteria and other factors. And if your application is approved, you will receive a nomination letter from Alberta, which will give you 600 extra points and which then you can use to apply for express entry. With the nomination letter from Alberta and 600 extra points, it is almost guaranteed that you will receive permanent residence under the express entry program. So that's it for this video. I hope it helps you understand the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program and the Rural Renewal Stream. If you want to learn more about this program or other immigration programs to Canada, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends and family.